Hi Little Makers, it's Miss Patty from the Cyberarium and today we are going to be making our very own bird feeder. We're going to choose things that we have in the house and we're going to go ahead and design it our special way. Uh, the reason why we're making this today is I was thinking about the wonderful beautiful books that we've been reading on our earth for Earth Day and the protection uh, that we should be uh, thinking about for it and recycled goods we can use it also to take it outside and bring nature to us. So I went ahead and I chose a milk jug, a gallon milk jug is one of the uh, houses for our bird feeder and I also chose a half gallon one uh, just to see different ones, see which one you would like to do the best, you know which one you'd like the best. So to start with I went ahead and I got some dowels which are these, and I cut them up in smaller sizes, like this one, this one. And I went ahead and I chose this one to be my first one. And the first thing that I did was I chose a spray paint. I went outside, I put plastic down so that it wouldn't stay on the grass. I went ahead and I put my gloves on and I went ahead and spray painted it. So I chose this one as one of them. And then I chose uh, the second color that I chose is I wanted to make it as natural as possible. So I chose this one as the second color, which is like a, a green teal color for the second one. Once I chose the color, once I let it dry, then I went ahead and I measured with a measuring tape, or you can even use a ruler and what you have to make sure is for the windows, you have to measure, you say, about two inches from the bottom. And you want to put a line exactly where that window is going to start. And I, I did it on this side. I turned it around. I haven't opened up this window, but I haven't cut it out yet, but it's two and then two here. So it all matches and is even. Then what I did, and this is good, you're going to have to get help from your parents for this. Uh, from your family members is you're going to go ahead and draw a line which you could do that and I did a little arc here and then I cut it out so that's what you're going to need help with if somebody could cut it out for you that'll be great now there's many designs that you could do I went ahead and got a little fancy and I got a stencil and I thought it would be nice to experiment I had never experimented with a stencil before but look, I got to do it on the side and I put the stencil on it, put a piece of tape and I went over with paint and it came out. Two little birds here on this side, so that's one of my designs. I also went ahead and got the dowels and I sponge painted them. So I took a sponge, of course with my gloves, took a sponge and I put the paint and I sponge painted it like this. Then I let it dry, but you don't really need those. You can also go ahead and use twigs from outside. So I went and I collected some of them to show you that there's some great twigs outside that you can cut and even give it a more natural look if you wanna make a little roof on it, like this one. I made a little roof and you can do that over here too. I also went ahead and I cut out little leaves and I'll show you what we're going to be doing. So once you decide on what the house or the feeder, which um, container you're going to be using, then you could start collecting things around your house. But look for things that you could recycle because we want to go ahead and use things in a variety of, of ways, right? Especially um, the One Earth, remember we read, and it talked a little bit about different ways to use things. So if you have any buttons, you can go ahead and get those. And of course, twigs, any paper, construction paper, anything you have. So let's go ahead and do a little bit more designing. So what I decided to do here with this jug is I thought, well, maybe I can make some branches coming out from the window. Kind of like if it was a tree. Got my paints, I'm gonna do brown. And it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Because trees 
one of the things that they have is not everything is the same. So you can just go out as far as you want. So this is the one that I would decide, but you can draw butterflies on it, caterpillars on it, any kind of natural animal, anything in nature that you like. You can draw branches from the branches and continue from there. I then, after I put my branches that I want, I go ahead and put a little bit of glue where I want my leaves to go and just place it where I put the glue. And you know how a tree is when it goes out, the branches go from one to the other, so you can go ahead and get the little rooftop. Have fun making your own design. It's gonna look beautiful. I remember Little Makers, one of the uh, best parts of this is your creativity. I know I had shown you the stencil, I just wanted to show you how that worked, but there's a lot of space for you to get creative. Maybe you decide to do butterflies or birds or anything that you'd like to draw and anything that your mind says, this is perfect for my very own bird feeder. Little Makers, this is the second idea that I wanted to show you. Um, I got a half gallon of milk and of course cleaned it up and made sure it was dry uh, before I worked on it. I went ahead and chose uh, this paint to go ahead and use with it so that it can go ahead and um, I love the color, the teal color for nature so it can look really pretty out there. And then I went ahead and chose the dowel and the dowel itself like this one, like I said to you earlier, I went ahead and colored it, but with the brown, sponged it, but you can always find sticks in nature that you can use and just go ahead and put it in and it could serve as the perch also. This is what I experimented with for the first time. I love stencils and I had never used them. And I went ahead and got this one. And what you do is just put it on top, wherever you want it. So these are in the store. Maybe you'd like to purchase something like this to add, make it a little bit fancier. You put a little piece of tape on it. You paint it on top with the colors that you want. And then you take it off and magic. It comes out exactly as it is on the stencil. It really is beautiful. There's a couple of flowers on there that I wanna go ahead and use. I'm gonna go ahead and stencil up here, maybe two flowers on the side. I'm gonna probably do the birds again because they're so beautiful. And if we get fancy, wanna add like a little bit of nature on the top, you can break some twigs and kind of put them like a little roof up here and kind of fill it up all the way. Little Makers, um, I think that this is the way that I'm going to go ahead and finish mine for today. But you know, yours is going to be absolutely beautiful and the birds are going to enjoy it very much. As you could see on one side, I have the beautiful orange birds from the stencil. And then on the other side, I made them red. And then in the middle, I kind of made a window for them to go ahead and a perch. I put some buttons down and some flowers. And I also wanted to show you that in the back, I put a hole so I, you could put the string through it, open up the cap, and then close the cap right on top of it. And you can hang it off your tree and you can watch the birds come to you. Enjoy.